Many persons did not want to speak on the matter of the GCOM's swirling controversy, and some agreed to talk, but only off camera. The sentiments from those who spoke are mixed. They got junior ministers after these big, these elderly men and them. And in the previous government, we didn't see that. And the junior ministers now, them supposed to learn in from the senior men with the end. And personally, you know, with, with me, right? I ain't feel no way, I don't know about anybody else. That was Oscar Payne. His argument is that the senior persons whom the president is positioning are a kind of transitional or succession planning on the president's part. He says that he thinks that the president is choosing the old people so that they can train the young people. However, Mr. Seeley, a cobbler along Smite Street, thinks that President Granger is wrong to choose an elections commissioner without giving reasons for the rejection of the persons submitted by Mr. Jack Dio. Mr. Seeley thinks that the president has ignored the ruling of the acting chief justice. Um, you were supposed to uh, say the reason why he didn't um, choose any one of the, uh, the members of, in the list, on the list that Jack Dio submitted. And he was supposed to like, give the reason why he didn't, he didn't choose any of them. And he didn't. So he was supposed to do the inquiry. So do you agree with the move? No, I can't agree with when you go against this, this uh, how it's supposed to be. I agree with that. 100% I agree. I feel it's the right to pass me for the world. So because it's the only way that um, justice will be prevailing. Eh? Without him, I don't know. So I agree with that 100%. That was Sean Wills. He said that the country would be best served by someone with the stature of Justice Patterson in that position. The private sector the Bar Association, WPA's senior executive member, Dr. David Hines, the Guyana Human Rights Commission, and several other individuals and groups have publicly registered their displeasure or objection to the president's unilateral appointment. The opposition, through its general secretary and parliamentary leader, Barajak Dio, has pledged to disrupt the governance of Guyana through non-participation at every level. I now urge all Guyanese to support the constitution of a fully appointed commission so that we can get on with the business of conducting local government elections and general and regional elections in this country. Justice James Patterson said that he has never been in politics and has no intentions to be. I am apolitical. I've not been in politics, and I don't think I will ever be. Enter. For Channel 2 Headline News, I am Wendell Jeffrey.